In this video, we're going to cover registering a new sensor with the iAlert app. First thing to notice is on the right hand side, you can see these plus icons. This indicates a new and unregistered sensor. So for this example, I'm going to use pump number one. And when I select it from the scan screen, what will happen is the app will connect to the device and pull out the existing parameters on the device and you can see that this has detected a new sensor. From here we'll say yes we want to register the new sensor and the first item that it'll ask is you know are we the owner of this device you know we will reg I will be registering this one under our account so I can say yes this is my device I agree Now the first set of things it's going to ask us relate to the in installation of the sensor. So what do I want to call this? Um, I've previously named this pump number one, so I will keep it that way. And then where's this in sensor installed in relation to the asset? Okay, so for this example, I will switch it to equipment non-drive end. Say next. Um, how is the sensor installed? This is where you can actually go through and pick your orientation. Um, say it's vertical. Now if I mess up here and I want to set it back to what the default is, I just simply click default. Now I say next. And then it'll ask me how do I want to set the alarms. Do I run up, want to do them manually? Do I want to run a new baseline, which will take 25 run hours to complete? Or use what's already on the device? Um, for this example, we'll do manually set. And I can change, say, the, the warning down. to, And then I say send. And the app will now send those first set of parameters to the sensor and save them. OK. And now I'm, those sensors settings have been sent. And now we're on to creating a new asset. OK, so here we actually have a couple choices. We can create a new asset we can select from an asset that is uh, nearby us. Um, the app has detected that there are four sensors, um, at least with four assets tied to them. Or I can search the full account, um, just so you get a sense of it. If I search the account, this is going to connect up through the web, look at our account, and see what sensors I have located under ITT Gould's. Um, for this example, though, um, I'm going to do the longer method, which would be creating a new asset if I was in the field. So I select create a new asset, hit next, and I select what type of equipment this is on. So for this example, we will say this is on a pump. Um, I will keep the name the same as the sensor name and just call this pump one. Next. Uh, I can add a photo to the asset here. Um, for this example, we'll just skip it. And I want to we want to add some details about the who's the manufacturer. Um, we can say it's ITT Gold's Pumps. Um, I can put in a serial number for this. And hit next. Um, because it's an ITT Gold's Pumps, it'll go through and actually take a look at the, the technical data available for it, and then load that equipment information to the app. So I can say next. So it pulled out the information that um, it was on a, a 3600 RPM machine. Um, we'll say that this is 100 horsepower. And that in this installation, there is no variable speed. hit next. All right, now I've defined the equipment and now I need to place where in the um, where in the plant this piece of equipment resides. Okay, so you can see here that I've got the three levels that I need to fill out. Um, I simply click on a level. I choose where this is located. So I'll say Seneca Falls. This is in our foundry. 
and it is on the uh, the north side of the foundry. Um, if I want to go in and, and create any one of those levels, I simply click a plus sign, and then I can create a separate one if I don't already have it. But we will stick with the Seneca Falls, the foundry, and the north side. Hit next. And now this places the asset into the location that I defined uh, for use with the web portal. And after that is set, we are done. And as you can see, we are now complete. And that's how you set up a sensor.